At Wembley, he was the man who had achieved the impossible. By Wednesday, he was the town's hero. Everybody keen to get a glimpse of him and to get their message across, don't go Glenn. At a press conference this morning came the news that Glenn Hoddle was no longer to be manager of Swindon Town Football Club. Um, yesterday, uh, Glenn Hoddle approached me and told me he wanted to leave. Subsequent to that, Ken Bates spoke to me and was given permission subject to certain conditions to talk to Glenn. Clearly, the, uh, the whole club are extremely sorry to see Glenn go, but we have to go forward. And we all here are very delighted to announce that our uh, new manager, Swindon Town Football Club, is John Gorman. John Gorman openly admits that one of the main reasons he opted to part company with Glenn Hoddle and become Swindon Town's manager was because of the amazing support shown for the club during its open top bus tour on Wednesday evening. I can't believe it. I didn't expect it to be like this, but what can I say? It's just over to be. I'm a bit overcome in a minute, to be honest with it all, and um, it's just one of the best experiences of my career. Now, presumably, something like this. Make a difference to staying for people or not? Well, we've just got to... I, I can't really talk about that, Paul. I just want to enjoy the night. I can't enjoy it because of all the, the fuss everybody's making about it. the other thing, you know? I just wanted to... What we've done this year has been such a great achievement. Only time will tell if the fans remember Glenn Hoddle as the manager who left them at the top. The one big question remains, why did he choose Chelsea over Swindon Town? One thing is for certain, there's nothing but the utmost respect for Swindon's new manager, John Gorman.